Hi guys, welcome back to another quick video. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that was asked on a previous video. I think I've mentioned uh, this in my previous uh, videos. I mean, I've done a lot of video on this channel about using this particular uh, platform, FX Dreamer, to make your Forex trading robots. If you have a good trading strategy, that you want to turn into a forex robot you don't need to know coding skills you don't need to pay anybody you especially if you're going to be doing that in metatrader 4 uh, because this platform is for free for metatrader 4 uh, for metatrader 5 is just a small fee that you just need uh, to pay and if the robot is uh, profitable then you can quickly uh, recover that money back so what you probably need, I always say in my videos, is first of all, you need a mechanical a mechanical trading strategy. What do I mean by a mechanical trading strategy? It's a strategy like what you are looking there at my screen. For example, this strategy is saying if moving average 5 goes below moving average 20, I want to sell. When moving average 10 goes above moving average 100, I want to buy. So as long as you have a, a mechanical uh, moving average uh, trading strategy, sorry, uh, like this, you can quickly turn it into a forex robot and see if it can make you some money. However, sometimes uh, you probably want instead of buying and selling there and there, you are probably going to want to use pending orders instead. In case sometimes uh, the cross is only a momentary cross maybe it's just you know when news happens there is just a spike and it's not a, a, a like a definite proper cross so you don't want to quickly sell there and there then it spikes against you and you lose your money then you probably want to use uh, pending orders in that scenario so I'm assuming that's why that person has asked uh, me to explain pending orders I have done a video I have done a video on a forex robot that just trades with pending orders based on price I will leave the link to that video in the description box below so visit the description box below in order to access that video and also that robot that places a pending orders based on price um, is it profitable uh, yes uh, it has been profitable in some instances but it has also lost money in some instances so it's uh, something that you just uh, uh, need to refine but uh, once I give you the robot then you can also tweak it and refine it for yourself so that's a pending order based trading robot now getting back uh, to this to use a pending orders to use a pending orders with FX Dreamer. Uh, by the way, in the description box below, you also find links to the broker that I use. That's the broker that I use for my trading and also for testing and developing these Forex robots. Why? Because just to open an account with them is just $5. You just need, uh, you can deposit as low as $5, $10, which you can use to test and refine these Forex robots in a real market conditions. We don't do demo, demo trading here. Uh, I know people love to do demo trading and stuff, but the my challenge with demo trading is you never really experience the real market emotion when you're trading with fake money but if you have some skin in the game some five dollars some ten dollars in the market then you really really need to uh, train your psychology your mind how you handle wins how you handle losses that's why i use that broker now getting back to pending orders so once you have made your trading robot instead of using uh these uh, buttons by the way you just right click them and they will go instead of using the buy now or sell now uh, um, uh buttons buy now sell now you actually use a sell pending order that's as simple as doing that 
with FX Dreamer. There is a buy pending order. That's as simply as doing that. So then you connect, uh, you make the connections there, make the connections, then you double click in there. Now you are able to what to set the price offset. For what is the price offset? You can see the my um, when I move my mouse to price offset, there is a question mark there. If you click on it, it goes to explain what does it mean. So basically, what the price offset is when the moving average cross happens, we want the pending order to be set. How how uh, how many pips are away from the cross of the uh, moving averages? For example, here is 20 pips. So when the moving average cross happens, there's going to be a pending order that is going to be placed on our chart that is going to be 20 pips away from the crossover. So either the market is going to go to that 20 pips and it's going to trigger that pending order or it's going to reverse before hitting that pending order maybe it crosses for a peep and then goes back up it means at least what you have protected yourself that pending order was never what was never triggered so that's what uh, the offset is about and the price that we are using is the bid price and what there will be an ask and a bid price the ask is at the top and the bid is at the bottom or you can use your own custom price but you can use the bid price since we are in the cell what the cell uh, side of the robot so you can use the bid which is the bottom you know when you have your charts open there are two levels of price that are happening on your chart the ask and the bid the bid is the bottom one so we are using the bid one or you can use the ask if you want you you want uh, the the ask to trigger the uh, pending order it's up to you really then uh money management here you can use uh there are some options uh but you just keep things a simple uh fixed volume so now you decide which uh lot sizing you want to use for some brokers they can go as low as 0 0.01 for some brokers the bare minimum is 0 0.1 for some people they want to enter this with maybe a standard lot it's up to you you decide uh how much volume you want to to use uh, i'm not going to bother with this but if you just want to uh, learn more about it you can just click on it and it will tell you what it's about then here you can set your stop losses and take profit for the pending order so when the pending order goes on you can actually add a, a stop loss and also a take profit with that pending order and yeah uh, maybe we just put in a, a one is to two so a one is to two will probably be let's say 30 versus uh, 60 that's why i take profit for that trade then what you probably also need to do is to set an exp expiration time period maybe the market turns against uh, um, uh, you and it never triggers the pending order you don't want to keep the pending order there you probably want is want the pending order to expire so you actually set it here so you come here and you can say expire today so when the clock changes over to the next day it expires or you might want to keep it there forever it's up to you but if you want it to expire you you want if it doesn't get triggered if you want it to uh, the, the robot to get rid of that you can say maybe today so when the mark when the robot uh, recognizes that we've switched, switched over to the next day it's going to remove that pending order or you can use a specified uh, time uh, how many hours or days or minutes do you want the pending order to remain once the crossover has happened and the pending order has been placed how many hours do you want the pending order to remain there or if it doesn't get triggered if it doesn't get triggered how many hours do you want it to remain on your chart or so you might choose an hour 
or you might not want to have an hour maybe you want to only keep it for maybe what six minutes uh, it's just an example it's just an example and remember to what to take uh, these uh, things if you also want to change these things um, on your robot on your meta trader for side without coming back each time to fx uh, dreamer so you can choose uh, five minutes whatever minutes or hours that you want the pending order to expire by then uh, some of these uh, settings uh, I've not really used them but you can uh, this uh, says one cancels uh, the other so probably if you have a new pending order it's going to cancel the older pending order I think that's what this means let's click on it okay so yes definitely so if the first pending order was not triggered the market turns against it and the crossover happens again and it opens a new pending order here you have a choice of keeping the two pending orders or keeping the new pending order which basically means it cancels out the old pending order and only keeps the new pending order so again it's for you to decide what you want to do there with the pending order then we go to more settings i'll just move uh, this up here so more settings uh you can put in a uh, uh, slippage is a factor of uh, trading you can say you don't want uh, if it slips by more than four pips you no longer want the pending order or you don't want the pending order by so, so much pips it happens comment uh, I'm not going to bother with that you can add an arrow you can add an arrow uh, for the pending order when it uh, appears on your chart you can put an arrow there just to track your trading history and uh, things like that and you can add a comment if you want I didn't want to bother with this but you can put a comment there you can just maybe put the cell uh, that's the comment that's going to appear there uh, with uh, your trader so uh, and after that you go update and I'm just uh, noticing that I also uh, forgot to mention about this so here you can decide on the particular symbols that you want or the groups of trades that you want but I'm not going to just bother with that so that's why I didn't uh, talk about it uh, that much so this is uh, pending orders and you can use or you can do what we did here with uh, the buy pending order yeah, they're basically the same they are basically the same you just need to put the same things that we were talking about here so that's about pending orders in fx dreamer i hope this uh, video has explained pending orders uh, for anybody who is uh, planning to use pending orders in fx dreamer very easy to do very simple to use uh, you can play along with these settings with your pending orders and hopefully you can make some money with this guys uh, again i'll link stuff in the description box below uh, visit the link uh, the links in the description box below uh, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed guys i'll see you in the next one bye